I love finding buttons when I mail detect. While at Digstock, I found several, and it felt different to me. These are my stories from the signal. There is nothing more satisfying than finding something round when mail detecting. The heart races a little when a round edge is seen in the dirt. It often indicates a coin, but having a button in the dirt is just as satisfying. Usually a metal button has some age to it, so you know you have a relic. Sometimes there is a fancy design. Sometimes they are military. Even the plain ones can be exciting. I think a button is very personal. While a coin is held by someone, it ends up in purses, pockets, or sacks of some kind, and it gets passed along from one person to another. A button is typically owned by one person, unless they outgrow their clothing. Each time the garment is put on or removed, the button is touched. The button is constantly next to the person. A button holds coats in place to keep the cold off someone's neck, sun off their shoulders, or can be undone to provide comfort from the heat. I will never grow tired of finding buttons. While at Digstock 3 in North Carolina, I found a few buttons. This military button was my first find for the week. It deserves a story of its own. I was grateful to find a few more as the day and week went on. Finding these buttons felt different to me. See, I've never detected on a plantation. I've never detected in a cotton, peanut, or tobacco field before this event. This field was worked by slaves. A slave wouldn't have had many personal items, but one they would have had would have been buttons. I wasn't sure if they would have owned metal buttons, but upon researching the topic, some slaves were given nicer garments as a sign of wealth for the plantation owner. When I first found some of these buttons, I thought some of them would have been too fancy. Perhaps just the plain buttons could have been used by a slave, but any of these buttons could have belonged to a slave. The hands that touched these buttons could have been so calloused and cut up from picking cotton in 80 or 90 degree weather for 13 hours, all the while dragging along several hundred pounds collected in a sack in one day. The shoulders and back this button fastened a garment over would have been sore from constantly bending over to pick cotton inconveniently three feet off the ground, if only it grew one foot taller. A button in place goes relatively unnoticed, but when lost, the garment doesn't fit quite right, doesn't protect the person. A lost button just adds to one's discomfort. 